Yeah, see, I like I like that one there, you know. Shan said, come buy all the drip, but the aura don't come with it. You know, that's a fuck, you know what? That's a fucking saying there, you know. You can buy all the drip, but the aura don't come with it. And you are fucking right. Let me tell you about clothes, yeah? There's a difference between wearing clothes and having swag. I worked at Holborn yeah, in higher residential apartments, yeah? The ground floor apartments, the quote unquote peasant apartments, yeah? The lowest of the low apartments, yeah? The apartments on the ground floor, which were the cheapest apartments, were no less than a million pounds, yeah? So you know what we're dealing with there, innit? The penthouse was 20 million, yeah? And I was the electrical testing supervisor, so I never really done any work, but I was managing, running the construction site in terms of the electrical testing. And I had another job role as well, innit, yeah? To turn on power, like, I was a fucking important person, you know, like, I'm an important person anyway, but I'm an important VI fucking P, yeah? Managers from other departments had to seek my permission to turn power on and shit like that. So boom, um, during the construction phase, certainly the apartments in that were ready and people were occupying them. So there were people living in the building that we were working in. So certain floors, we had to wear shoe covers, certain floors we couldn't make up no noise, yeah? Or noise was limited that we could make up in that, yeah? Um, there was some new giant, now, now this is Holborn in it, and basically it was next to LSC, yeah, London School of Economics and Political Science or whatever. So it's next to LSC Uni, so uh, a lot of the people who lived in these apartments were Chinese people, yeah, they're from China, their parents are fucking millionaires, and they just buy this apartment like it's a fucking flat. Then luxury apartment, yeah. They'll buy it like it's a flat and their kid will live in the apartment or whatever. Like their parents are fucking milli minted in, in China or Hong Kong or whatever. So boom. So I went to some boy's apartment, right? Uh because he had a problem with the electrics. Yeah. I was on call out. This is over the Christmas period. Gone to the boy's apartment now, and he was dripping. Dripping! Yeah, he had a Moncler, he, he, he had a problem with the heating as well. It weren't working. He had a Moncler jacket on, yeah, and I know he said Balenciaga um, sliders. Now, I don't know what jeans he was wearing or whatever, innit, yeah? Because I wasn't pretty a man like that, but I know he's wearing Moncler jacket, 800 a bag for the jacket, Balenciaga sliders, what, three bills or whatever, easily, maybe four bills, I don't know, innit, yeah? So he's got drip. But he's a fucking nerd, fam. He ain't got no swag. And right then and there, I realised, you know, no matter how, like what Shan said, no matter the drip you buy, yeah, you ain't got no swag. He's just a nerd in designer clothes. Yeah? A nerd in designer clothes. I tell you something, yeah? See, black man, yeah, we just got that natural swag, yeah? You put them clothes there on our black man. Yeah, you just, the head man will come to the door. Yeah, your head man swagged out. Yeah, but he's just a nerd in expensive clothes. Yeah. You, you wouldn't even know that he was really in those clothes unless you looked at the brands hard, didn't it? Yeah, kind of black man, you, yeah? You, even me, if I was wearing a Montclair jacket right now, you see my mom my be, yeah? i will be sitting a certain way in that. Yeah. That swag there, that aura that, that comes from within, yeah, no matter what clothes you wear, yeah, if you ain't that guy, yeah, you just gonna be a nerd in flashy, in flashy clothes. 